Hey everybody, welcome back to Yankee Devil, where of course every day is a train show. How y'all doing? How you been doing? I've been doing great. You know what I've been working on? What you been working on? I've been working on my newest album called DJ Plays Random Bells Found on Railroads. Check oh, that this should out. be cool. Here is a uh, Nickel Plate Road Berkshire. Oh yeah, here's a Canadian National Reciprocating Bell. Here is an old school Baldwin. Hey, um, quick question: How many, uh, how many do you make practice in here? Ninety-seven. Here is the Amtrak going through Thirtieth Street Station. How about NS going through Philadelphia? All right, so, get off that. All right, come on. All right, we'll play the, the rest later. Anyway, what we got going on here is some brand new items that hopefully will find their way on your railroad. And we're gonna start with some Bowser trailer cars. Are you ready for these? They're called road railers. Road railers. I thought they were called trailer cars. All right, we'll we'll have road railer trailer cars. How about that? We'll we'll combine them. What I have happening here is I have various different types of these road railers here, and of course they are all the triple crown. As you can tell, I have different variations. That one has a CN uh, that's been kind of painted over. Same thing. I got a little swift action happening there, and then of course that's a nice basic one here. Now these used to be shown all over the place here. You just still see them today on the rails, although they're not as uh, popular. But one of the neat things about these cars here, if you take a look, it's literally just the truck. Or the tractor trailer, rather. And then you have the Bogey. wheels. What do you call it? Call them bogeys. Ooh, we got the bogeys. All right. So you need a lead truck to put the wheel up front here. And you have a nice long uh, trailer train here. I really enjoy these things. I think these are really neat. And the price is pretty good, too. The retail value of these cars are $29.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabla for $23.99. So if you're someone that really likes tractor trailers, you can like trains, I think you should just put them together. What do you think, Engineer Hall? Huh? Oh, I love that idea. All right. And so also, you could, it's so uh, economical, you can have a whole long train. That would be great. So come to Yankee Dabla and get these rolling on your rails today. Those road railers look really good, and you know what also sounds really good? My impression of the GG1 going through Holmesburg. Where did you get this bell from? Where am I head at? Anyway, so we got some new cars that we're going to take a look at here. We have here from Walther's some wood chip hoppers. I only have a couple of them in stock, but I'm getting three more in. But let's take a look at the ones that we do have in here. We have a nice yellow one. And guess what? A nice uh, green one. But guess what? I have three black ones coming in. You want to know what the road names are? Okay, you ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. You want to guess? Um, nope, Norfolk Southern. You were close. You want to guess the second one? Uh, nope, CSX. You're wrong again. And what you want to guess the last one? Uh, <laughs> no, it's Southern. Man, you're bad at this. Anyway, so I have these um, wood chip hoppers here. We have seen these before. This is the next wave of these cars here. And just check a look at the detailing happening on here. These are really cool looking cars here. Now, Engineer Hall, what do you think you could put in a wood chip hopper? Uh, wood chips? Oh, oh, oh you know what? Trash. Ooh, trash, trash, really? Yeah. So you're putting Congress in here? Anyway, so these are really neat looking cars here, and I think you definitely need these on your railroad. I also have a bunch of different road numbers to go with these cars, too. So, for example, I know, for me personally, I've seen the Bayline go around a bunch of times, so maybe I want to get a couple of Bayline cars here. I think these will look really great on your layout. Now, the retail value of these cars is $39.98, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabber for $33.98. And as I said, I also got to have in Norfolk, Southern, CSX, and Southern. They're actually already on. On our website so check that out uh, i just don't have any to show you right now but we are getting them so i think you need them all so come get some wood chips rolling when you're trained today all right so we now have a new engine to look at you know it's not a rs11 but here's my impression of the rs11 hey um yeah give up the bill but it's so good check it out thank you Stop taking my bells, Engineer Hall. Anyway, well, these engines have bells, so we're going to check these out here. These are some SD40-2s and 3s from Scale Trains, and these are in N scale. I have here the chassis system. Ooh, I like that one. That's NS. What's that stand for? I have here Union Pacific. And finally, this is actually the Phase 3. This is the CSX. And Engineer Hall, where did you say you saw these engines? Oh, I see them in Camden Yard in Camden, New Jersey. Ooh. 
Ooh, very cool. Now these are really nicely detailed locomotives here. Let's check out this Chessie one here. I got a whole bunch of different colors there, but this is a very nicely detailed engine for N scale. It's a nice detailed engine for any scale, really. Look at these things here. I really like the design of this, the look there, the color. And I think every railroad needs an SD40, don't you agree? Of course. So, which one do you want to run, Engineer Hall? Ooh, you know what? Let's do Union Pacific. Union Pacific it is. Boy, they sure are terrific. That rhymes. They should make a song about it. So let's get the Union Pacific rolling on our rails. All right, so I had that CSX on the tracks. I thought I said one Union Pacific. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard CSX. No, I said UP. Let's turn it on. Well, that was different. Let's take a listen to the horn. Whoa. Let's listen to the bell. Can you cool with the bell? All right, let's start it up, shall we? Back it up. Hey, look, ditch lights. Engineer Hall, want to highball it? Go for it. All board? Wow, that bell sounds great. Man, that's really realistic sound. Okay, anyway, so those scale train engines look good. They sound good. Sound even better with me. Now, the retail value of these engines is $309.99, but we're sending them here at Yankee Dabbler for $249.99. Awesome deal to get on these engines. In my opinion, I think you need all four of them. Don't, wouldn't you agree, Engineer Hall? Uh, I need four of the, uh, let's just the NS ones have two back to back sets. Ooh, okay. So we need eight. No, no, just need four. four. 16. All of them. I want all the engines. Anyway, so come to Yankee Dabbler and get these things rolling on your fleet today. Engineer Hall, you know what really excites me? What's excite you? Uh, Strasbourg 90. Bring it one more time. I, I guarantee no. everyone's no. loving this. This is not 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 annoying no. whatsoever. No. My wife loves it, and I'm sure my second one will too. Anyway, so what I have here is I have some U25Bs from Bowser. These diesel locomotives here and see what they look like. So first of all, I have here the Rock Island. That is a really sharp looking one here. And then I have here the LNN. I have here the C and O. Oh, uh, this one doesn't have letters, but this is actually, I think it's a X New Haven Penn Central engine. And then finally, I have here the Pennsylvania Railroad. Now, the U25B is a very interesting locomotive, kind of, you know, towards the early stages of American railroading in terms of diesels. But the neat thing about these engines here, check this out. What type of couplers are those, Engineer Hall? 
what? They're the, metal. Oh, we got I, metal couplers. Oh, I thought you meant like. What the, oh, oh okay. well, no, I'm I gonna don't say E or F. I'm sorry. No, we don't have Ken here to tell us the the history of that. But check this out. I mean, you know, I got the bell detailing happening here. I got see through vents here. This just looks great. Wouldn't you agree, Engineer Hall? I like that red. This engine kind of reminds me of McDonald's a little bit. I'm loving it. Yeah, I think you'll love this one too. Why don't we run the Rock Island? We don't really run Rock Island. So let's see what the U25Bs. So we got that Rock Island on the track here. So let's hear what it sounds like. Let's start it up. I have a whole bunch of different lighting, lighting features happening there. Let's check this out here. So as you see here, I have here the marker lights, I have the number boards, and the headlights illuminated. Let's hear what the horn sounds like. what the bell sounds like. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to add this to the next album. Let's start up. Let's get it going. All born. Check one to the couple. All right, let me know when I'm there. Half, truck, far enough. Let me know. Far enough. Am I good? You good. Can I stop? Yeah, you should stop a car go. Okay. All board. I gotta make it very prototypical. Going through a crossing. Pulling in. Let me know when to stop. You good right there? What'd you say? I, I say you good right there. Good where? Right there. Where? Stop. Okay. Did I do it? No. All right, hang on. I got it. I'll fix it. Coming back. All right, let me know when I'm good. Two cars to go. Okay. One to go. Far enough. Where, 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 where are you going? Hold on. I'll get it. Hang on. And let me know when I'm good. You good. Good what? Stop. Okay. I think they're really good with that one. No, we we gonna talk about that. So the retail value is two ninety nine ninety five on these engines, but we're selling them here at Yankee Alberta for two thirty nine ninety nine. So awesome deal to get on a really neat looking locomotive. I have a couple of different variations for you to decide. They operate great, especially the way I operate them. I mean, they're just flawless, right, Engineer Hall? Yep. Anyway, we're going to, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so come to Yankee Dabble and get these engines before you see them on somebody else's land. You're like, ugh, got to break in now and steal them happens we don't condone uh breaking into any uh buildings uh yeah right let's take a look at all the things that we saw in today's show here if you take a look over here i have from walther's these wood 
chip hoppers and I have a couple of different variations that are already on the website for your consideration. I had here from Scale Trains, I had these SD40-2s and this is a SD40-3. I had here from Bowser, I had these U25Bs and then I also had the Road Railers there and I have a bunch of different versions of those for your consideration as well. But of course, if you're looking for something that we didn't showcase on our show, well, let's go on yankeedalboy.com, type in the search bar what you're looking for, so hopefully we can get it shipped and sent to you so you can have this hours and hours of railroading fun. Doesn't that sound good, Engineer Hall? I love the hours, hours of fun. Hours of railroading fun, man. You know what? Speaking of Engineer Hall, if you're not already subscribed to the Engineer Hall channel, click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest and greatest things. For example, Engineer Hall did something interesting. He decided to try to figure out how to get one of his Tier 4 Jeevos to jump over a gorge onto the other side. Wasn't that great? How'd that go? It didn't go too well. It, uh, it's... I can't wait to see the video of that. How many cars did you You had like 80, 90 cars on that thing? That's what that big explosion was, I bet. So in the last couple of shows, we were uh, having people give me ideas for their version of my new model railroad. Some of them were pretty good. Yeah, some was great. They were terrible. Let's no. be honest. They were just awful. No. All right, so I took none of their ideas and I came up with my own idea. So and what did you have? I share it with you. On the show, check it out. Don't you think it's good? What is that? Don't you think this is better? Oh. Okay, so let's bring it down here and I'll break it down. So, Engineer Hall, before you start freaking out, what? it's a no-gauge layout because I'm a no-gauge guy. As long as everybody having fun. And That's right, matter. if we're having fun. So check this out. This is going to be four different lines, loops, okay? So the room is basically a square. Mm -hmm. It's roughly 14 by 14 foot. I gotta have two main lines going around here. The first one goes around here. And then the second one goes in the inside here. I'm gonna have a door happening right here. So this is actually gonna be a bridge that's gonna lift up and down, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This area is gonna be like the the walk-in space. I'm gonna get maybe a couple chairs in there. Cause I, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really like wasting the whole layout room with just a big board, especially if something happens wrong in the middle, I can't get to it. So I figured I'm gonna have it going along the wall. And then I'm particularly proud with this area. We have all these switches and whatnot, and big yard, but you see these two loops right here, Engineer Hall? What's those? Those are underground. What? They're underground, so check this out, you right? So these two loops are gonna be above here. This is gonna have like a slope here, and you're gonna see these two, mm -hmm. and guess what these lines are? Um, Amtrak and Norfolk Southern. Ah. So all my modern trains are going to run down here. You're only ever going to see it in this spot here, but I think that's kind of cool because I can kind of space them out so you like don't know what to expect. So I think that's going to be really neat. I'm going to have my steam locomotives or my vintage diesels up top. Got various different buildings. What do you think, Engineer Hall? Uh, I'm just a little confused here. Um, Why are you confused? Why, why, why does the steam get to be outside all the time? These look like go in that little. The, the, because the steam is king. We all know that. I understand that, but they get run together? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't go both directions? Uh, possibly. I had still had to figure out those logistics, but this is the layout here. But I'm glad you enjoy having many hours of railroad fun. That's right. And this is probably going to take many hours to put together, so I'm looking forward to seeing what I got happening here. Look, I even have some buildings laid out. I got a Starbucks. I got a mini mall, hobby shop. I got a what FedEx a buildings Dabber? here. Yeah, we could turn that into Yankee Dabbler for sure. Got some various different types of stations. I got a Taco Bell and an Arby's with a bowling alley. Mm. I mean, what's not the like here at Engineer Hall? I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't see anything that says a Blue Mountain Reading Railroad on here. You know what? They'll be well represented with my engines on that layout, all right? Okay. You know what? Speaking of the Blue Mountain Reading, that's a great segue, whether you planned it or not. For our today's Real Fat video, we're going to go up to the Blue Mountain Reading. Or, wow, that's old school. It's called Reading and Norton now. We're going to go to the Reading and Norton. We're going to see. 2102, they're running T1 going down the line. This is in a uh, crossing called Tannery on Tannery Road. It really speeds up this hill. It's one of my favorite locations. I hope you enjoy it. As you see the train go with a 17-car consist of some beautiful newly painted coaches. Are you excited, Engineer Hall? Let's do it. It's going to be fun. So check that out. Now, if you excuse me, I have to work on my big release debut on iTunes on my uh, album. DJ plays 97 different bells of the railroad. It's going to be great. You got to download it? How much is it for a download? Well, in order for me to get my money back, and considering probably not a lot of people are going to do it, I'm probably going to need about $1,500 to download. It's going to be great, though. Hey, here's a trolley. All aboard. Next stop.
Thank you, Dabbler. Get off.